So you want to make commas and professions happen to be one of the best ways to do that. However, the grind and the commas to purchase the resources to get to a decent level can be long and expensive, unless you know what to craft. And that, my friend, is exactly what this video is going to show you. It's going to give you the cheapest recipes to craft your way all the way from level one, if you're at the beginning, up to 120. Don't worry, if you're somewhere in between there, I broke this video out in a way to where you can jump kinda to where you might be, pick up right there. And yes, this guide is divided for both the Echo and the Elysale servers. I know, I'm making it too easy, right? <laughs> If you can do me a huge favor, smack that like button for me real quick to show your support. I would greatly appreciate it. And if you like Dofus PVM tips, guides, and gameplay, well, that's what my channel is all about. Consider hitting that subscribe button and turning on notifications so you know exactly when my videos go live. Okay, let's do this. Okay, perhaps you're somebody who wants to know exactly how I came to the conclusion that these are the cheapest recipes to craft. Well, I'll tell you what, I'll walk you through the secret sauce here real quick. The first thing I would do is for every level underneath the jeweler profession, I would go up by one. So for example, right here at level 30, these are all the items that can be crafted. I would then examine each of the resources and the quantity to figure out which one has the cheapest set of resources. And no, I didn't just do the math in my head. I actually created an Excel sheet to do the math for me. So all I had to do was type in the name. I would type in the resources, the cost of those resources, the quantity, and I would get a total. Once I had narrowed it down to the cheapest of the resources for every single level, and at times even skipping certain levels because it was so far off the charts, or maybe there wasn't even a recipe at that level, but I kept all the cheapest options for each level. Then I created this spreadsheet right here. Once I had my list of all the resources that were available, I would plug them in and as I progressed down the level, I would use this chart to figure out is it cheaper to craft one recipe at the new level or multiple recipes of the previous level to possibly get to the next level. As I worked my way down on the far right side, you will see the cost to craft multiplied by the number of quantities. This is how I was easily able to track is it cheaper to do multiple of a previous or move on to a higher level recipe. I then continued that process all the way down to 120, dropped the mic, I was done, let's move on. Okay, so how do you need to use this guide? First of all, if professions aren't really your thing, or perhaps you've already leveled up your jeweler and you wanna know how to make some commas using this guide, stay tuned towards the end of the video and I'll throw some things out here where you can use this guide to even make some commas directly. So the first thing you gotta do, jump to the section in the video that is associated with your server, both Echo and Elysale. I will make sure to timestamp it in the section below by chapters so you can slide across to Elysale if that's where you are at. Next, you're gonna wanna open up something to jot down what I recommend. That will hopefully help you keep from having to pause the video a whole lot. I'll try not to talk too fast as I begin to go through the recipes, but just something like Notepad, Excel, Microsoft Word, anything where you can just jot down real quickly how many you're supposed to make and of what ring or amulet. And the last step is you just gotta go shop, check your bank, buy the resources, maybe you go hunt down the resources. Once you got everything you need, go to the workshop and start crafting your way all the way up as high as you want to go, at least to the 120 mark following this video. All right, Echo, starting at level one, you are going to craft four of these Colette Aklus to get yourself to level three. You are then going to craft three of these Puny Owl Pendants to get yourself to level five. To go up to level six, you're gonna craft one Gobble Tear. Then you're going to jump to level nine by crafting four of these Royal Gantai. To get to level 10, you're gonna craft one Agility Ring. Okay, and this next one's a big jump. You're gonna go all the way to level 19. However, there are two options and I'm gonna give them both to you because they're really close in price and depending on resources, you may have to go one way or the other. So for both of these, you're gonna craft 21. And the first option is the Con Carcass Necklace and the Fortifying Ring is the other option. Again, you wanna get enough resources to craft 21 of these bad boys. You're gonna go up one more level to level 20 by crafting one Captain Schaefer Amulet. You're gonna to get to level 22 by crafting two Zest Rings. You're gonna make another jump here to level 28 by crafting nine Pippins. 
All right, to get to level 29, you're gonna craft one of these pin of meat. To get to level 30, you're gonna craft one Sheikah amulet. To get to 31, again, you're gonna craft just one of the crystalline ring. Now you're gonna make a jump to level 35 by crafting five of these solo rings. And here comes your first really big jump going all the way to level 47. And you're gonna get there by crafting 27 of these Somun Fisherman amulets. You're going to craft two of these amulets of the depths to get to level 49. You'll get yourself to level 50 by crafting one Koritz amulet. You'll get to level 51 by crafting one of the Coco Amublops. However, the Pippin version of this is also almost the same cost and it'll do the same thing. So you can craft one of those as well if you need to go that route. You're going to get to level 52 by crafting one Klaug's Ring. You'll get to 53 by crafting one Plain Crackular Amulet. You'll get to 54 by crafting one Hitchet's Ring. And you're going to jump to level 57 here by crafting four prisoner amulets. You'll get yourself to level 60 by crafting three burrito amulets. And you're going to jump to level 67 by crafting 10 of the wabbit tooth amulets. All right, you will get to 68 by crafting just one of the Anno Nemus ring. And you're going to make another little jump here to level 72 by crafting five of the Abho ring. All right, you're going to make a small little skip again to level 74 by crafting two Scurvian amulets. Okay, and here comes another one of those big jump moments. You're going to jump to level 85 by crafting 21 of the Nelween's amulets. All right, and you're going to get to level 88 by crafting four of the White Paw Wabbit bracelets. You're going to get to 89 by making one Rictus ring. You'll get yourself to 91 by crafting two Autumn Leaf amulets. Again, a small little jump to 93 by crafting two Feudala amulets. You'll get to 94 by crafting one spinner ring. Get right up to 95 by crafting one little resin. And you're gonna make a little jump here to 99 by crafting five winter leaf amulets. All right, and believe it or not, these last 21 levels will be made by two crafts. So get ready for some big jumps here. We're gonna get all the way to 108 by crafting 15 minotaur rings. And the final jump here all the way to level 120 is going to be through the use of dragon pig rings where you are going to try to make 28, assuming the resources hold out, 28 of these bad boys to get all the way up to 120. All right, Illyzale, it is your turn. And the very first craft we're gonna make is one courageous ring to get yourself to level two. You're then gonna make one vital ring to get to level three one puny owl pendant to get to level four, one chemate to get to level five, one gobble tier to get to level six, one royal gantai to get to level seven, one animulet to get to level eight. This will be your first little jump to get to level 10. You're going to craft three adventure rings. To get to level 11, you're gonna make one fortifying ring. To get to level 12, you're gonna make one yellow peewee ring. All right, you're going to jump to level 15 by creating four yellow peewee amulets. You're going to jump to level 18 by creating three country rings. You'll get to level 19 by creating one blubba ring. One Captain Schaefer amulet's gonna get you to level 20. All right, and here's your first big jump going all the way to level 27 by crafting 12 zest rings. You're gonna make another little jump here to level 31 by crafting five of the bobble amulet. You'll get to level 32 by crafting one Plunder's Amulet. Gonna make another little jump here to 35 by crafting four Buds. You'll get to 37 by crafting two Somun Fisherman Amulets. Here you're gonna jump to level 43 by crafting eight Oxo Rings. Gonna make another jump here to level 51 by crafting 13 Tart Amulets. You'll get to level 53 by crafting two Klaug's Rings. Craft one Hitchet's ring to get to 54, one prisoner amulet to get to level 55. You're gonna slightly jump to 57 by crafting three Bohe talismans. Another little jump to level 60 by crafting three Hitchet's amulets. You're going to craft six just rings to get yourself to level 65. You're gonna get to level 66 by crafting one Gobam Mew. You're gonna get to 67 by crafting one polished ring. You will get to level 68 by crafting one Anonymous ring. Little jump here to level 72 by crafting five Abho rings. 
You'll get to 74 by crafting two Scurvian amulets. And you're gonna make a bit of a jump here to level 80 by crafting eight Nelween's amulets. Okay, you're gonna to get to level 84 by crafting five of the Royal Coco Blop rings. From there, you're gonna to jump to level 89 by crafting six White Paw Wabbit bracelets. You're gonna to get to level 90 by crafting one Autumn Leaf. Gonna make a little jump here to 93 by crafting four Royal Rainbow Blop rings. You will get to 95 by crafting two spinner rings. And here you're gonna to jump to level 102 by crafting 10 winter leaves. Gonna make another little bit of a jump here to level 108 by crafting eight moon amulets. And you will finish the rest of the way off to 120 by crafting 24 dragon pig rings. Okay, perhaps you're not interested in leveling your profession or maybe yours is already leveled up, but there's still a way you can try to use this video to make yourself some commas. Anytime a comma guide like this goes live, you know there's going to be a flood to the market for those resources I just listed for both Elysale and Echo. What you can do to try to make some commas off of this is go look for the resources that are going to be needed to make multiple of some of those recipes. And you don't have to try to find all the resources associated with those. Try to find the most valuable one in the list list that they're going to have to make 10, 12, or 20 of, and then go out and harvest a whole bunch of those and slap them in the market. They're going to be selling pretty hot here for a while. In case you skipped right to this section, on the Echo server side, there are six recipes that require crafts of anywhere from 10 to 27 to make the level jumps that they want to. On Illy's Ale, there are seven that go from eight to 24. And one other thing you can try, if you're one of the first to do it, obviously there's gonna be a lot of these crafted, the market's probably gonna get flooded with a whole bunch of this equipment. If you want to, the prices are gonna get drove way down on those, you might be able to take them, go crush them for some ruins, and maybe get some money out of it that way as well. Well, if you can do me one huge favor and smack that like button if you haven't already, it would really help the channel out. And again, if you like Dofus PVM, tips, guides, and gameplay, well, that's what my channel is all about. Hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications so you know exactly when those videos go live. Until next time, you all be safe out there, and I will see you on the next one. Yeah.